On December 14, 2012, a 20-year-old shot dead 26 people at Sandy Hook Elementary School. 20 of them were children. Minutes later, he committed suicide. Public figures were quick to draw attention to the fact that this disturbed young individual was an avid gamer. He played violent video games that shaped his young mind. Names like Call of Duty and Grand Theft Auto were mentioned. Thousands of parents asked themselves, are video games making our kids violent then? Well, stay a while and listen. 99% of boys and 94% of girls in the United States play video games, according to the Entertainment Software Association, ESA. It's not just kids playing either. No less than 58% of the entire American population play video games, while at least half the population over 50 do so as well. Confused about these numbers? Love it or hate it, you definitely can't ignore it. I'm talking about video games. There's no denying the fact that, growing up, video games have been a part of many of our lives. And for a lot of us, myself included, games continue to be a source of delightful, harmless entertainment. Be it catching up with your friends over a session of Call of Duty, saving the world in Legend of Zelda, or just hanging around and having fun in Animal Crossing, games continue to be a source of escape from our rather mundane existence. However, over the years, the world of gaming has had its fair share of negative claims and controversies, the most impactful being related to the effects of video games on children. From allegations of causing short-term memory loss to making kids violent and everything in between, the harmful effects of modern gaming have come under the limelight time and again. While there's no denying the fact that playing too much can have adverse effects on anyone, not just children, a claim like video games cause violence is unfounded and has no scientific research backing it up. Studies say that playing age-appropriate video games can be very helpful for children to develop their social and cognitive skills. In this video, you're going to learn about five ways video games can help your child. So, keep watching! Number 1. Boost problem-solving skills Every video game comes with its own set of rules, and as a player, you need to follow these rules to accomplish a specific objective. If a player wishes to progress or finish the game, they have to make many decisions and plan the next move. Sometimes, these split-second decisions are the only things standing between success and failure. By playing games, children can develop better thinking, planning and organising skills. Games like Minecraft and Overcooked require an exceptional level of planning and coordination while Mario will require a child to think on their feet and learn by failing. Number 2. Develop multitasking abilities If you think about it, there's probably no game in this world that doesn't require the player to multitask to some extent. Most action and adventure games ask players to perform many tasks while being vigilant of their surroundings. One wrong move and it's game over. Multitasking is one of the elements that make a game fun and rewarding. Learning how to multitask early on can give kids a head start and help them do better in school and sports. Number 3. Improve social skills According to a study published in Psychology Today, playing video games is said to boost social skills in children. Since some of the most popular games today are competitive multiplayer or cooperative, players have to interact with one another to achieve a certain goal be it beating the opposing team or clearing a level by teaming up. Playing, be it indoors or outdoors, has always provided a significant context through which kids made new friends and interacted with them. Video games serve that purpose today to a large extent. When they're not gaming, kids also talk about games and strategies with their friends in real life. If deprived of such opportunities, a kid might be left out of conversations make fewer friends, feel lonely, and in turn develop lesser social competence. When it comes to leadership and team building, video games can help children excel as well. For instance, the game World of Warcraft was mentioned in the Harvard Business Review as a fantastic tool to build virtual leadership skills. The very popular Minecraft 
is also being used to teach math. Number four, enhance imagination and creativity. One of the greatest gifts we receive as young ones that slowly fade over time is our ability to imagine without boundaries and hesitations. As kids, we grew up playing with Lego sets and many other toys and make-believe. But as time passed and responsibilities started piling up, our sense of wonder and imagination faded away into a distant background. For kids and adults alike, video games allow everyone to continue such imaginative play and foster creative thinking. In fact, research done by Michigan State University scholars found that kids who played video games were more creative in tasks such as writing and drawing. In contrast, children who used cell phones and computers for purposes other than playing video games didn't show any signs of increased creativity. Number five, get better career opportunities. Now this is something that'll make every parent happy. If your child plays video games, they could likely grow up aspiring to be a professional gamer or work in the video game industry. Did you know that a 16-year-old boy won $3 million in the world's first Fortnite World Cup? Yep, competitive gaming is now bigger than ever before, and there's a chance it could be in the Olympics too in the future. After Hollywood, the video game industry is the second biggest entertainment industry in the world and generates yearly revenue of over 90 billion US dollars. Career opportunities are growing in leaps and bounds as well. If your child is talented enough, they could make a career being an animator, illustrator, programmer, storyboard artist, sound designer, and so much more. There's no doubt that the pros of being a gamer outshine the cons. And if there's one thing games teach us better than any other medium of entertainment, is that persistence pays off. Gaming teaches us that when levels get difficult and the boss fights get harder, we are definitely on the right path. Learning how to be persistent is one of the key traits of successful people because it teaches us to learn from our mistakes and keep trying. So, I bet you're now convinced that video games can be good for everyone. If not, I encourage you to join your little one in a gaming session and try to see things from their point of view. After all, nothing makes children more happy and confident than seeing their parents' love and support. In other news, China restricts gaming for children to three hours a week. Do tell us your thoughts about that in the comments.